Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. Writing applications in Rex is fun, especially on TSO because TSO is also our online uh, testing and uh, editing environment. Uh, of course you can also use the Rex on Kix uh, if you have everything set up. There's a whole development environment for Kix, for Rex. Uh, it is a little bit of a well, I wouldn't say major hassle, but it needs to be set up properly. But if it is set up, you could also do everything we're going to do now on uh, on Kicks, slightly different. But we're going to play today with with uh, uh, TSO and Rex. Now, what I want to do is write an application, a fun little application to send emails from within TSO in uh, Rex. Of course, that means we first have to uh, learn how to use sockets, uh, TCP/IP sockets, to connect to uh, the email server and send the email but also we need to uh, set up a panel uh, so that we can enter the email address of the recipient and the subject and the body of the email message uh, maybe in the in another video we'll see how to uh, create a form that goes and obtains uh, the emails from an imap or a pop server and shows those also in a in a TSO panel. Wouldn't that be fun? So uh, anything, anytime you want to write a something that concerns sending emails, you need to read uh, the RFC 821. And uh, RFC of course stands for Request for Comment, uh, but of course the comments are not in the request itself. Uh, it is a somewhat tedious document to read, but it's extremely well written and um, everything you need to know about sending through an SMTP uh, server. As you know, it's the, sim the simple mail transport protocol. Anytime you want to use that, you should read this document. So uh, you can find it easy on the internet. Let's start maybe with designing the form, the user interface aspect of it. This was recently on this channel, a video by Sebastian on, uh, on TSO panels and uh, there is several ways to write TSO panels on um, um, on the mainframe. You can either use the, the method, which is the newer method uh, outlined by Sebastian in uh, just one or two videos ago, or uh, which create, is actually a generator for panels and produces, of course, uh, safer and better looking panels. But if you want to do a quick and dirty, like I sometimes like to do things, you just go to, well, I'm on a ZOS, 2.3 here on my personal mainframe, but uh, I have all of my panels here. And I created this form here. Maybe I found some example somewhere, but uh, I mean, they're all exactly the same. There's no, there's very little to change here. So this is a TSO panel. Um, let's make the message appear. Okay. So this creates the attributes here and so we say what kind of uh, uh, how we want the panel to be set up we could say for instance that caps need to be on for everything we say that the input is going to be white we could say that the that the standard text um, is going to be let's say red why not and then uh, this is the form so this is going to be displayed actually between the two percentages uh, this means a field, so it says send email form. The, this uh, form. And then we have the, the various uh, forms that we need. We actually don't need that. Okay, so this looks better. So, and uh, here we have the server, the SMTP server address. Here we have the recipient's email address. This is who is sending it. And this is the subject line, and then three lines of, uh, well, we could actually do a little bit more, four and five. And this is then, the field is as long as, as you see here on the screen, up to the, uh, to the pound sign. Okay, so these are these these are the fields. These are how long they are, and of course you want to line them a little bit so it looks a little bit, uh, it looks nicer on the screen. So let's save that and see how it looks. 
we go to the uh, dialog test of the, uh, ISPF. So here we go to panels and we put in the name of the, of the panel that I put in, uh, in, the, in the panel library. I just called it the email. As you can see here, um, it's now displaying a form, a very simple form. There's nothing special about it. You would put in the, uh, the address of the SMTP server. Obviously, a lot of uh, SMTP servers nowadays uh, are encrypted and they will be on ports that are not the standard 25 port. Uh, but, um, but this is something that's a detail that can be changed. And, and of course, we say to, we send it to whoever at whatever.com from moshix at soso.com what is up yo and then this is a simple message uh, message thank you so of course we could make this form a lot nicer we could have lines here that's nice to, that's easy to do um, but the colors work and of course we want to change the colors we can put in here red as we just had before or blue i like blue best actually um, and we could change here anything right so that's very simple um, and that's how the form looks like remember that uh, these are the limiters for the length of the field the the pound sign so it will be from here to here you want to have this aligned and as many lines as you want of course it would be nice also to have like a pf3 for going back and pf8 for sending maybe or i don't know pf5 maybe for sending something like that but that's all just uh icing on the cake uh, if you study the manuals online for ispf panels those can be um, those can be found out very easily but so the, here is a very simple form and uh, and so we tested it it works if there was any mistake it would show us here there's a mistake maybe we can code one i don't know we could print this call it message three again so right we cannot have two variables the the underscore create um, defines a variable that's going to be passed on afterwards to rex so all these are variables that rex can access servers would be the smtp to address form etc right so if you put in now a, a mistake by uh, on purpose now let's see what happens so let's save it and oh it will tell us that um, message three there's a mistake here and so then we can just go here and and call it message line four and save it and now if you go to the panel testing, oops, made a mistake here. Now it works. So this is done. Now let's go see how we can uh, use this form, this panel, and then send email. And of course the next, op the next uh, topic here now is we need to open up a socket because the RFC 821 of the SMTP protocol, the simple mail transfer protocol, of course it requires a socket uh, connection and of course rex is able to do sockets so let's go see how this looks i have here a simple program i put together from various examples um, here it is so let's see what happens here so here first i populate default values right just so in case so just to have uh, the default values and then we need to use control line feed which is uh, part of the let's see here uh, CRLF so as you can see here everything always terminates in the SMTP protocol with control line feed and uh, it's 0d25 in ASCII so that's what we need to send so now we can uh, uh, we can put this here in this variable which we can use throughout the protocol session with the SMTP uh, so then we say display the form and if the server address you remember that in the form we have server and two address right maybe we can do that here we can go to and 
so this becomes easier to follow. So you can see here, server is a variable and two address. So if these two are not filled out as a very minimum, you cannot send an email. So then it would say, if these two are empty, then there's no data in the panel and we'll exit. And the program will end there, right? Um, otherwise, if there is data, then we can populate the, the uh, default fields we had here with the data from the panel. And then we can uh, open up a connection. So now we open up a connection by saying, um, we initialize, there's a way to initialize a protocol here. And as you can see here, for instance, there is a hello, right? Once we have a connection established, and here I'm, I'm assuming port 25, maybe in the, in the panel we could ask for what port to connect to, but I'm assuming 25 because that's a standard. Uh, in my uh, home network, uh, I have my own SMTP server running, so that, that is applicable in my case. And, and by the way, I should say here at this point that there's also an SMTP server in ZOS. Um, as you can see here, the communication server of ZOS has an SMTP server. There used to be, uh, there's a change there from ZOS 2.1 to 2.3. They eliminated the old sent mail. It wasn't very good and very often there were problems and error messages, but uh, they put in a better and more robust solution in, in ZOS 2.3. So you can also con connect to the internal SMTP server, which is absolutely there and works fine. So you could put in a local host. Um, so then we connect and you can see here in the, um, in the protocol, there's a hello with one L, right? And so let's see here. Yes, opening and closing. As you can see, the protocol is, is defining that you need to put in a hello with one L and the SMTP server address and then control line feed. So we're putting up this message here for the SMTP server. Now, if you deviate at the slightest here from what the protocol expects, the protocol, the server will get confused. And that's when sometimes you see that there's a connection to a server, but it's, it's hanging, there's nothing happening. It's because the server is confused. There's almost like an English kind of like language between the server and the client, which is us in this case and you need to follow the language that it is expecting. If you don't, it will just wait. And so then you would have to kill the, the connection somehow. So then this is how we initialize the connection. If you follow this, then the server will, will have set up a connection for you. And then we need to put together the email that we want to send. So of course, um, we take the email from, okay? And this is how it needs to be built and then the control line field and all the data that we took from the form is populated here and um, of course uh, here we can just put in subject okay and then we send the message uh, the subject the to the reply to the subject and the xmailer so um, we need to tell the smtp server what kind of mailer we are we can put the string together as we want and then the email client will be able to see that um, so once that is done we put together the message to be sent which in our case is message one so if you see here message one two three four and we put it together as one long line uh, message one, two, three, four, and control line feed. Then we send the text of the, the body of the email, and then we put in the quit to terminate the connection. We put in quit, send the quit to the server, and then we give a, a short, um, a short uh, uh, message to the user of the form. So that's how we would do it. It's actually very, very simple. I will put this in the description below this video so you can play with it. We can make it a lot more robust. Of course, we could have error handling, we could have better information to the user of what's going on. But by and large, everything that you need to send out an email is here. So we can try this out and we can put in here SMTP server, which in my case is my internal network. 
and we can put it at whatever at something from Moshix at localhost subject this is a test from ZOS and um, and then the body what is up all good and goodbye so okay and as you can see here this has sent the email now um, of course uh, this email will return because this domain doesn't exist but uh, this just gives you an idea um, I don't want to go into my email box and show all of you what's in my email but uh, I have tested this before this does work um, oh yeah and the return code zero so you can see it's it's actually there's not that much to it how many lines do we have here like 70 lines with you know, 450 say 50 to 60 or 70 lines we could do a lot more in error handling but by and large this is it so um, you could build out of this and make make also a panel for receiving emails we could connect to a pop or a imap server and download emails and show them in a form um, which will be similar to this right we could do something let's take this and well yeah, yeah i don't want to i don't want to make this in this uh, video too long but maybe in a future video we'll show how to uh, show a form that actually um, collects video from an IMAP server. Wouldn't that be fun? And uh, you can play with this. I'll put all of this in the description below this video. Maybe I'll point to a, a GitHub repository. If you have any comments or any questions, then please post uh, below this video. And if you like this particular video, please do press on the thumbs up button. Always uh, like to see those. And subscribe to the Moshix mainframe channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you very much. Goodbye.